20, 30, 40, and $50,000 a month. Derek, I got a really interesting comment in one of our last videos when I told you that I thought I told you that I was going to Hobby Lobby. I did inform Derek, Mr. Toodles, that I was going into Hobby Lobby. Yep. Didn't I tell you I was going to Hobby Lobby? No, you did not. I swear I said I was going to hit Hobby Lobby first, then the grocery stores. I swear the words came out of my mouth. It's because I talk to my friends on the camera so much that I think I'm having discussions with you, but I'm talking to them. I gotta head out to Hobby Lobby, Costco, and maybe Walmart. And you were like, when I said I did good, and you were like, as in buying nothing? And I was like, no. I did good. You'd be proud of me. I did good. Good as in didn't buy anything? No. <laughs> I bought stuff, but I was good. And I got an interesting comment about like, wow, I didn't know Derek was so controlling. And ah. it's so funny the assumptions that people get from watching videos. That's funny. There's not one controlling speckle in this man's body. He is far from controlling. Whatever. It made me I laugh. control every aspect of your life. I mind. know, he tries. It's so funny, because I always Ooh. tell him like, can you be mean? Can you like be aggressive towards me? And he tries and then, he can't do I can't it. Even joke it. No, you can't joke it. It's so funny. He's never said no to me. I'm the one who ends up having like buyer's remorse on things. And he's like, keep it, do it. He's too good. He's too good to me. If you're hearing that nice sizzle, we're making BLTs for lunch. I just need to clear the air. This man is too nice. And I do get annoyed with you being too nice, huh? Yeah. I'm like, be mean. Get aggressive. Just say what you want to say. Because I'm that way. I don't hold back. And he's like, but no, he doesn't have a controlling vote in his body. And also in that comment, something about like me being the breadwinner of the family. You make money. I make money, but I am not the breadwinner of the family. Let's have this conversation. Let's, let's have this conversation. So I just, I just need to be honest about this with you guys. It's really funny people's assumptions with YouTubers and money. Remember when I made $300 on YouTube and how excited I was? Wow. Oh my gosh. And every dollar that I make from YouTube is a blessing. I remember I did a Q&A with you guys years ago and one of the questions was about YouTube and YouTube money. I'm in my home, I'm filming my life and share and help women and motivate and get paid for it. And why not? And I'll be honest, I can pay the mortgage payment with what I make on YouTube. So I don't feel bad. A lot of people feel bad that they do make money on YouTube because uh, they're afraid of the backlash. But I do not feel bad at all. It's a lot of work to make videos. And honestly, I am quite proud of She's in Her Apron. I am proud of what it's, I don't know, slowly evolving to, which is just motivating women. I'm not like some of my friends who do extremely well here on YouTube, 20, 30, 40 and $50,000 a month. We're not even talking brand deals. I'm talking just Google AdSense. Could you imagine? We haven't been blessed like that by the YouTube gods. <laughs> and that's okay because what we have been blessed with has helped our family tremendously. But I have been lucky in YouTube. I started YouTube in 2012 and it was a hobby and then it became a business. Thank you to all of you who share the planners. Now is all word of mouth. And our planners could do better if I was a better salesperson, but I just suck at it. But you also have to feed the machine and it's not very forgiving. And let me tell you guys, it takes a toll on you mentally. When you slow down, of course, numbers slow down and your money slows down. But it's hard when you slow down to ramp back up. And then in 2023, it all shifted. And that's why like, I never took for granted what I make from YouTube. Would I like it to be back like it was in 2022? Yes. And then I noticed that chasing that drained me mentally. So I had to stop that. Oh, our kitties are almost here. I know some of you hate when I say kitties. Right. You'll get over it. Look at them, you're coming home. Look at them. There is this love that I do have in sharing with you. But sometimes there's also a dark side of that too, right? And that, you know, you've got to pull back. And you do, you gotta, you gotta keep feeding the beast. You gotta keep feeding the machine. And you guys, that weighs on your mental state. Even if you get a team of people to help you, it's still a lot of work. It does take time away from the family and from my husband. I don't want it running me anymore. 
You know what I mean? It, it's a hard balance for me right now. And and I think, you know, to being premenopausal and my ADHD and we're half empty nesters. We're entering this new phase and it's a hard transition. And so it, it's harder to put yourself out there and share. I'm not going anywhere. If I were ever to be like, I'm done, you'll know. <laughs> but I do like sharing. I really do especially things that make me happy. And decorating the home for fall and Halloween makes me happy. And I am sensitive when it comes to things that I share in hauls and, and different things, because I know for a lot of people, even just buying one decoration is hard and, and undoable. And, and I feel bad about it, but I, if I worried about sharing something that might hurt someone, I, I wouldn't be able to ever share anything. I just think when we look at our neighbors, why can't we have what they have or live like they live? Then we feel bad about ourselves and we make these grand assumptions and then we come to find out they also have their struggles. You don't know what's happening in their walls and what's going on. Yeah, yeah. and we have financial, financial struggles like everybody. Hi, look at our economy right now. How could you not, right? I'm not going to pretend like we don't have struggles and we have to be smart and strategic with how we budget and with meals. No, but I am not the breadwinner. Derek works super hard. So thankful for him. I'm thankful for you, Derek. Outside of monetary, the biggest thing, I think, the lasting thing that we've gotten is friends. Yeah. People getting to know people. Yeah. Hearing from people, yep. meeting people. We've met a lot of you. We've met other YouTubers and learned a lot. The people that have come in our life has been really cool. Yeah. So I just want to clear that up. If you think Kimmy's living the high life. Oh, you're living the high life. You're married to me. I know. Uh -huh. I know. All right. We're going to eat our BLTs now that our house is smoky. Fans are running. It smells so good. So we're going to make a big fat BLT. Okay. Here is how I toast my bread. I put them together into the same slot. What? Yep. I, I have never seen you do that. Are you serious? I have never paid attention to wow. that. Wow. Same. Yes. This is what I do. That way the inside of the sandwich is soft and the outside is crunchy. That way when I bite into the sandwich, it doesn't like just crumble. That's... That's what I do. Did you learn that somewhere? Did you no, just do it on your own? I've been doing this for years. Are you Since seriously? When? I have never noticed you do that before. Yes. It's much better that way. I've only been with you for 26 years. Do you even know me? Not how you toast your bread. I've been doing it for years. Yum. Everything I want to say right now will sound perverted, so I'm not going to say anything, but <laughs> this is delicious. Mm. 2022 was. I knew it. Poor Paige. Smoky in here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing good. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> Doodles.